Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about so do I and neither do I. So when do we use so do I? So we, we use so do I if we are agreeing to someone that we conform or we, we do the same or we genuinely like what this person like. For example, um, she likes to go to Manila. So for you to respond and if you conform or accord to this person that are talking, you can say, so do I. It means that you also like to go to Manila. But let's talk about that in um, negatively. So for example, I don't like to go to Manila. So instead of you saying, I don't like to go to Manila, you can say, neither do I. So neither, so when you say neither, it means no. And do means, uh, that's verb, you have to also add that. Neither do, and then I. So I is you, the one who is responding or replying to someone who's asking if you're going to go to Manila or not. So let's, let's talk about singular form. Say for example, um, Casey likes to go to Manila. And for instance, Angel has a friend. So Angel should say, uh, so does she. So because Angel is a singular or only one, so she should respond, so does she. Because, yeah, she's only one. And let's talk about boy. For example, Miko likes to go to Manila. So Miko should say, so does he. So does he because Miko is singular plus does plus the pronoun he because he is a boy. So that's how you can construct that. But what if it happened in the past? So say for example, um, uh, Casey went to Manila and then Angel should say, uh, so did she. So Casey went to Manila. So the reason why the response is so did she is that it happened in the past. So you should not say um, so does she because it's not happening or it didn't happen um, in the present tense. So, okay, what, what if it is boy for example, um, uh, Miko went to Manila. And for example, the friend of Miko is Justin. So Justin, Justin would say, so did he. So did he because um, it happened in the past. So perhaps they, they were together when they traveled to Manila. So that's the difference. What if they are by group? For example, uh, the group of Angel, Ebyang, and... Casey versus the group of uh, Ron, Miko, and Justin. So, for example, um, uh, Team A. Um, team A would be girls and Team B would be boys. So, for example, girls, um, we go to Manila, and the on boys' end, they would say, "So do we." Because they are many or they are more than one, so it should be so do we. So plus do plus we. So what if that happened in the past? So for example, uh, we went to Manila. So the girls the girls said we go to Manila or you no. Know, so for example, the girl said we went to Manila. So the boy would respond so did we. So plus did because it happened in the past and we so we use did um, if we are referring to action words like for example singing dancing um, swimming um, regardless of abstract verb like for example thinking smelling so those are um, some of examples of abstract verb So let's proceed to uh, neither do I. For example, um, for example, uh, for example, Angel. So Angel doesn't like to go to Manila. 
so KZ would respond um, neither does she because she doesn't like it then it should be neither so neither would be no in order for you not to forget the word neither you have to think of the word no it means no nothing not not at all something negative so neither plus do or no neither plus does and then she the reason why it's does is because of course kz is only one so she's she's single so it should be neither does she so what if um it is boy for example um miko doesn't like to go to manila so for example um justin would respond um so if we are referring to the other the other person who is responding so it would be neither does he because of course he is a boy so remember neither which is no plus does the reason why it's does is because um justin is only one and then he which is he is boy actually so that's how you construct so neither which means no does if the person is only one and then plus he if the gender is boy so that's how you can construct that let's talk about so am i for example there are two friends who are angel and casey let's say angel is uh, comedic or funny so there's angel and then on the other hand there is KZ. So if, if Angel is funny, then KZ would say, so am I. So am I because so, it means that um, she is conform conforming. And then so am, and then I, which is referring to, to KZ because KZ is also funny. So what if um, it happened with boys? For example, um, uh, Miko. So Miko is handsome and Justin is handsome too. So if Miko said, I am handsome, so uh, Justin would respond, so am I, because they are both handsome. So what if it happened in the past? For example, Angel and Casey, they are famous celebrities. They were, they were famous actresses. And for some reason, they became, they lost their fame. So, for example, if Angel, if Angel said, um, "I lost my fame because no, no directors would hire me," then Casey would respond, "So I, so was I, so was I because there were no directors that were contacting me." Because maybe I was not any more fresh and juicy to the public. So unfortunately, I have to focus on other goals, other career instead. So let's let's go to neither. For example, um, they they were both celebrities and they were not snub when they were famous. So if Angel said, uh, I was not snub when I was famous, then Casey would respond, neither was I. So neither, no, was, singular, which is Casey, I, which is referring to um, Casey. So let's talk about, so should I. For example, there are two friends who are Angel and Casey. So Angel is going to work because she's jobless. In order for her to, to earn money, so Angel has to work so hard. So for example, um, if Angel said, um, I, I have to go to work because, or should I say, so for example, if Angel said, I should go to work because I have to earn money so I can buy the things that I love to buy. Then Casey would respond, so should I because of course I also want to earn money for me to buy so many things that I want to 
to place or to, to situate in our house. So something like that.